The investigators say the gunman who killed a Lubbock County SWAT commander and wounded three officers tried to bait a Texas trooper into chasing him before the deadly shooting. Fox Wars' Alex Boyer is following today's developments. Alex. Hi, Clarice. You know, the Texas Rangers are now leading up this investigation. And despite being known to area police, we could not find any kind of criminal history for the suspect. Tonight, we are learning, though, more about the Lubbock County sergeant he's accused of killing. This is the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office SWAT command leader who was shot and killed in a small West Texas city Thursday. Investigators say Sergeant Bartlett was gunned down by 22-year-old Omar Socho Chavira outside the suspect's level land home about 30 miles west of Lubbock. Officers initially responded to the area after a neighbor reported seeing Soto Chavira walking down the street with what was described as a large gun. It was only a matter of minutes after that um, contact that the suspect um, opened the front door to the residence and began firing on the Leveland police officers. That's when the LCSO sent Sergeant Bartlett and his SWAT team to assist Leveland police. It wasn't long thereafter that we had additional shots fired where we had officers that were injured. Sergeant Bartlett was fatally wounded. A Leveland police sergeant was critically injured while the three other officers were treated and released. It's important to remember that uh, as we stand here now, uh, the seriousness of what these guys face on a day to day basis. Hours before the deadly confrontation, investigators say Soto Chavira tried to bait a highway trooper into chasing him by driving recklessly. The trooper, who was dealing with another traffic stop, gave the description of Soto Chavira's Chevy truck to dispatch. It was the same pickup truck found in the suspect's driveway at the time of the deadly shooting. Police used a robot and tear gas to draw Soto Chavira out of his home and arrest him after a standoff that lasted nearly 11 hours. Our hearts, my hearts, and I know the entire country is with his, his wife and kids this evening. Law enforcement officers from several agencies took part in a procession for Sergeant Bartlett. The Army veteran did several tours overseas. My phones have been nonstop today uh, since the incident uh, from all over the state including in some from around the country uh, with condolences and uh, offers of support. And the level land officer who was seriously injured is out of surgery and is listed in critical but stable condition. Meanwhile, the suspect faces several charges, including capital murder. Investigators still working to determine a motive. Uh, this afternoon, Governor Abbott sent out a statement. It read in part, this is a heartbreaking reminder of the sacrifices faced by law enforcement every day.